How's it going everybody? This is Darren with GuitarControl.com bringing this video lesson and today I've got three fun and easy riffs for you from David Bowie. Guitar Control right now is giving away a really cool free chord chart. Uh, it's in PDF format and it just has every chord you could ever need all neatly compiled just onto one sheet. So you can download it, you can print it off, put a copy where you practice, put a copy in your gig bag, just so wherever situation you're in uh, you can have any chord you need at a glance. And it's a free download, just click the link down in the description. So be sure to click on the link in the description for the tabs, and let's get close up and take a look at these. All right, so the first one to look at is the riff from uh, Rebel Rebel. All right, so this one is made up of just uh, mostly just single notes. So we start off, we play the open A, or excuse me, D string, and this is a quarter note. One, and then on beat two, the high E string open, and then on beat three, the third fret of the B string. So one, two, three, and then on the downbeat of four, it's the second fret of the B string, and then for the and of four, we're going to put our first finger down onto the first fret of the G string, and then the B string will be open. So that's like one, two, three, four, and... So we hit that on the and of four. Okay, so starting on the second measure, we have... We, we rest on the downbeat of one, and then on the and of one, we just hit that again. Then we rest on the downbeat of two, and then on the and of two, we're going to hit our open low E string, and then starting on the downbeat of three, we're going to play the second fret of the B string and then pull it to open. Three and, and then the downbeat of four is the first fret of the G string. And then the and of four is the second fret of the D string. And then it just repeats. So measures two, excuse me, measures three and four are the same as one and two. And then it just repeats. So it's kind of hard when you get the, to get that pull off and not have that string be muted by your other finger. So it's pretty, it's kind of tricky. All right. See there, it's hard to get, you really should do it that way. Instead of trying, I was trying to just keep my finger there. And that's great when it works, but when it don't. So that would be the way I'd recommend to do it. All right, the next one we're going to look at is Riff from Changes. So this one, we've got this just full on. F major bar chord here. So I've got my first finger, I'm barring across all six strings at the first fret. And then my second finger is on the second fret of the G string. And my third finger is on the third fret of the A string. And my fourth finger is on the third fret of the D string. So we're going to play this as eighth notes, and it's a whole measure. One and two and three and four and. And then starting on the second measure, we're going to play the D string, and this is all eighth notes as well. One and, so just the D string open. One and, the downbeat of two is the third fret on the D string, and the and of two is the fourth fret. And then, starting on the downbeat of three, it's the, the second fret of the G string. Three and, and then the downbeat of four is the fourth fret and then back to the second fret for the and of four. And then it just repeats. last we're going to look at is a riff from Let's Dance. So 
this one's kind of weird when you're just playing it by yourself because there's there's a lot of the resting that the guitar does and the bass guitar is kind of uh you know kind of keeping everything together during the guitar you know breaks where the guitar rests so uh we've got a bunch of like crazy high pitched chords here so we've got this uh first one here we're on the eighth fret of the d string with your first finger and then you're on the tenth fret of the g string with your third finger and then i use my pinky to bar the eleventh fret of the b string and the high e string so that's the chord 8, 10, 11, 11. And the guitar is using a, a delay effect. So the way I've got this in here is so you can just kind of do the strums that that are actually being, you're just hearing the repeat of and the delay. All right, so we start, it's the 16th note. So we start on beat one, one, E, and A. Uh. So that's the first beat. And then on, uh, Starting on beat number two, we rest on the downbeat, and then we strum on the E, and then we rest, and then uh, we strum a 16th note again, another rest, another 16th note, and then we rest for the remainder of the measure, plus all of the next measure. So it's like. All right, so that's like. So it's like. Strum, rest, strum, strum, rest, strum, rest, strum, rest, strum, rest. All right, and then starting on the third measure, we have a variation on this chord. So what we're going to do is you're going to roll your pinky up, so now you're only picking up the 11th fret on the B string. Everything else stays the same. And then we're going to take our middle finger and put it onto the 9th fret of the high E string. And now we've got the exact strum that we just did. Rest for the remainder of the measure plus all of the next measure. So, so far. All right, so that brings us to measure five. Now for this chord here, we're going to put our first finger here onto the ninth fret of the high E string. And then we need to pick up the 11th fret of the D, G, and B string. So I just use my second finger on the 11th fret of the D string, third finger on the 11th fret of the G string, and fourth finger on the 11th fret of the B string. Now the strumming here changes a little bit. It starts off the same, but the difference is, is the last two strums don't have a rest in between them. So you've got... So it's like strum, rest, strum, strum, rest, strum, rest, strum, strum, rest. Same thing, rest for the rest of that measure, all of the next measure, and then it, now we're back on the second chord, the, the E flat minor. So from going from here, we're just going to go back to that same shape that we were doing before. So coming from here, pinky stays where it is, uh, first finger moves to the uh, back to the sixth fret of the D string. Third finger goes back to the tenth fret of the uh, G string, and middle finger goes back to the ninth fret of the uh, high E string. And now we're back to the original strum again. And then the whole thing would just start over again. There you have it, three fun, not too terribly difficult riffs to play from David Bowie. So if you like this lesson, be sure to give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you have any questions about this or other guitar-related topics. Uh, if you've not already done so, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the content that we upload throughout the week. Well, that is all I have for you today. Thanks for watching and have a great day.